In this video, I'm going to recap the gap and go trades that I talked about for the week of January 16th through the 19th. I talked about some gaps to the upside and gaps to the downside. And by the way, only one stock closed completely. Can you guess which one it is? I'll get to that in just a moment. Hi everyone, it's Dow on the Dow, but first up, NEO. We ended the week at $6.06, .06, down 3.5%. Again, I'm only going to show you whether the gaps closed, and I'll talk about price for Monday in a separate video. Well, this gap opened up and closed on Thursday, and this gap opened up on Friday, so we will be extending this gap and tracking it. We are very close to closing it out at $6.27. So I will be looking out for that in the upcoming week. This gap also formed and it closes out at roughly 716. And we have many more gaps to the upside. This one closes out at $10.30. So I've been tracking this one for quite some time, but look at this downward trend here, not looking good, but I'm anticipating a little bit of a bounce this upcoming week. The next one is SoFi. We ended the week at $7.49, up 1%. This gap developed during the week, and so did this one. This gap takes us to 7.58, closes out at 7.69. Another one formed. And this gap here has not closed out. Obviously, we are a long ways off. Lots of upside potential with SoFi. It cracked to the downside. And look at this strong channel going down. But hopefully, things will turn around soon for SoFi. The next one is Tesla. We ended the week at $9.94. This gap developed during the week and it begins at 10.07, closes out at 10.23. This is the gap that I was tracking previously, closes out at 10.51 and then this gap closes out at 10.82 and then many more gaps to the upside with this one, but we are a long ways off, no longer remotely in the channel, but something to be aware of when and if Tesla turns around. Hopefully Tesla will pick up and then this will turn around as well. The next one is Pfizer. We ended the week at $28.28. The gap that I am tracking takes us to that's old, those are old price targets here. That would be $30.35. We're slowly turning sideways with this channel, but not close to closing this out. Many, 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 many trades away, and we do have a gap to watch out for to the downside that will take us out to roughly $26.60. Once we close out these gaps, then I think we are off and running. So we're not here yet either. So a lot of trades to get to this downside as well. The next one, Exelon, we ended the week at 35.04, a, a gap formed here. On Thursday, that would take us to 35.43 and closing out at roughly 35.57. This one also formed 35.98, 36.07. And then this gap is the original gap that I was tracking and we started to go down. And that one closes out at roughly 36.62. Oh, and this one too, but that was out of our realm there. I started tracking the gap the week of the 16th and not previously, but I extended this one out just because I like to track them since I, I saw it. Now I'm going to be on the lookout for it. 
But originally, this is the gap was the gap that I was tracking. All right, the next one is Altria Group. We ended the week at forty dollars and thirty three cents. A gap formed to the upside. Well, it went down, so it form, uh, closes out to the upside at on Thursday. We're very close to it. 4061. I think this has the potential to close out on Monday. And is there another one? Yes, I am also tracking this one that takes us out to $42.40. Note the downward channel still, the RSI about to hit 30. And then once it does, or even gets below that, I think there will be a rebound to close out this gap and then kind of go up, but not close out this one just yet. Maybe if we start to go up, maybe start to touch it in the middle of the week and then close out maybe by the end of the week, keep fingers crossed. You never know what's gonna happen. Everything can change on a dime. The next one, SLB. We ended the week at 49.64, up more than 2%. This is the gap that I have been tracking. That takes us to 51.86. This gap went up, so I anticipate it to form to the downside, and that starts at roughly 49.10. Closes out at roughly 48.78. This gap that I was tracking touched to the downside right here. So this gap is no longer in play, no longer taking us down. All right, so. Oh, there's another gap I'm tracking up here for myself as well. But for the purposes of the gap and go trades, this is the one that I was tracking. Oxy is the next one. We ended the week at 56.42. A gap formed. We gap down, so I will anticipate the gap to go to the upside. Excuse me there. I definitely think we will close out this gap on Tuesday. We are in a very close window to this gap, so that's an easy peasy one. But the one that I've been tracking is all the way up here, a nice potential gain to the upside at 58.89. Fingers crossed on that one, but we are still in a downward channel. Definitely go to the daily, the weekly, and the monthly to see if this is a good long-term investment ticker for you. The next one is Baba. I just did a video for Paisley on this one, but there is a gap that takes us to 71.82 that formed this week. This one formed and closed to the upside at 69.34. This one also formed and closed to the upside 68.06 and this one is still a threat to our accounts to the downside at 65.29. And then we have many more gaps to the upside. We are not in the channel, not in the zone, not even close. Just something to be aware of. I need to grab this, but it's hard to oops, move this. Anyway, I will play with that later. That will take us out to $80.40. Many, 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 many trades away, but something to look forward to to the upside. But if you like to go short, there's your short play before we bounce and reverse to the upside. Disney. This is the one that closed. This is the only one that did so this week. It was a tiny little gap, but when I tracked it, we were here. We gapped up. All day long, price will stay in negative two and two standard deviations. You just have to follow the line, follow the channel. And this was so close within that channel and I knew it would close and it did. 
So we went all the way up to resistance. I never expect price to go up to four standard deviations. If it does, you better get out if you're just playing and trying to make some money, some fast cash, and then get down. And then at support, what do we do? Bounce up. So this gap is done. Yay. So I'm done with tracking Disney, unless you want me to. So feel free to leave me a message. But we are now at 93.06. And thumbs up for the gap closure right there. Let me delete that. And I'm not sure if I'm tracking any other gaps to the upside, but there is a gap to the downside that was not in the channel. So I'm not tracking that one because we're not in the realm. But just if you are in this trade, be aware of this gap to the downside at 84.84. The next one is Starbucks. I am in this trade for my mom. This gap opened up and closed to the upside at 92.60. This gap is still in play and a threat to us to the downside. I need to move this. I'll move that out later. I have to find out where the dot is and I don't want to play around. 96.65. All right, this gap is the gap that I was originally tracking. And look at that, yay, we closed. Took a while. I will remove that. All right, and then this gap takes us to 97.64, but when I originally tracked this, was I tracking that one? Maybe I was. Oh no, I was, it was Disney that, was, that just had one. I was confused for a second, too many stocks to go over. All right, so that's done. This is the next price target we can look forward to, to the upside at 97.64. And then this is the bigger, a, a bigger gap that takes us down. There's so many. I'll have to, what did I do here? It got moved. So this gapped up, so that will gap down. So that is part, this box is part of the bigger move to the downside. And I think we hit that right there, yay. So that is no longer a threat. So if you went short, good for you, right there. And then we have this one. Let me move this. This gap though, ooh, look how bad this gap looks, all the way to 85.18. If we get to here again, I will be scooping this one up. So I don't know when it's gonna get there, but if you're patient long enough, it will cycle and reverse itself to the upside, to the downside. So lots of opportunities to swing trade here. But this gap is still in play but I will not be tracking this one to the downside anymore. I am tracking this one and this one closed. Let me extend it and make it look pretty. I think it touched right there. Sometimes you have to make this thing larger to see, but you have to grab it at the right Nope, it didn't touch there. It touched right here. It looks deceiving, but when you blow it up, see, it didn't even touch. Close, but we really touched it right there. That would, if you thought it touched there, you would have had a sense that we were done, but no, it cracked some more to support and bounced. All right, but at least we're done with that one. Those are price targets or support and resistance lines. But the good thing is Starbucks is in an upward channel. The next one, Nike. All right, this gap from previously, from the week of the 12th, the 8th through the 12th, extended all the way into this week. It finally closed out right about there. Done, no longer a threat to our account to the downside. This one opened and closed. All right. And this one is still in play. 
to the upside at roughly 10508. And this one is also to the upside at roughly 10646. All right. So those are the targets we can look forward to. And then I think that's it to the downside, except for the standard deviations. All right. But negative two and two all day long. Keep that in mind. And then anything outside that is an outlier, a definitely a definite buy and sell signal for you. Last one, finally. Lowe's ended the week at $220.01. The gap that I'm tracking would take us to right here, 225.33. We got close to it over here on Friday, December 22nd, but no cigar. We flushed all the way down. Look at this, all the way down. And then now we're grinding our way sideways and up and sideways. And I think we could definitely touch this top part on Monday. And fingers crossed that we continue to go sideways and then curl a little up to close this one out. All right, that's a look at the gap and go trades for the week of the 16th through the 19th. I will then make another video for price targets for the stocks, the 12 stocks that did not close the gap. And remember, Disney did. And then I'm going to put Oracle into this list because I accidentally left it out previously, but it did not hit the gap to the upside that I have been tracking. So I will definitely take a look at that. Let me just show you really quickly. Oracle. Wait. O-R-C-L not E. All right. So that does it for me. Thank you so much for watching and have a great trading week.